Once upon a time, a baby met a giant dog in the street, and what he did was amazing. This is a tale of one tiny girl and her two giant dogs. A dog is said to be a man's best friend, but in the past year, I have seen this proven wrong. A dog is a baby's best friend. The bond between a child and a pet is undeniable and like no other, and there is nothing better than watching your fur baby and your human baby become best friends. The friendship I have seen between our son Wally and our dog Dottie is pure joy. Since Wally has gotten a little older and very active, they have become inseparable. They play ball together, sort of, dance together, play in the sprinklers together, and Dottie even joins us for our nighttime routine before Wally goes to bed. Watching Wally's love for his big fur sitter Dottie is so heartwarming and hilarious at times. He hugs her when she is scared of the storms, he feeds her more of his dinner than he feeds himself, he giggles uncontrollably when he braves her sloppy kisses, and his first word was dot dot. Raising your baby with a pet is worth it just for the most adorable photos alone, but studies have shown there are many benefits that can positively affect your child's physical, emotional, and social well-being. Despite their sometimes fearsome appearance, larger or even giant dog breeds can make especially good family friends, loving and protecting your children as their own. And, as this list illustrates, they look absolutely adorable together. Not all big dogs are good for families, guard dogs or herders can be anxious or overprotective around kids. But some small breeds are also unsuitable around children because of their tendency towards nipping and aggression. The benefits of raising children with a pet are numerous, they teach responsibility, compassion, and confidence, and they will protect your kids and keep them active. Ruby Stowe is only two years old, but she handles her two huge Bernese mountain dogs like a pro. The pups, Biggie and Wooster, have grown up with the child and love playing together as a family. These dogs are really gentle, kind, and patient. They are really good family dogs, Ruby's dad, Craig Stowe, told ABC News. We taught Ruby how to properly pet them and whatnot. She learned to walk by pulling herself up on Biggie, and he's so patient with it. Ruby, as a kid, would lay on Biggie, and he would let her. The Stowe family's first baby was Lucy, who has been nicknamed Worcester over the years and is now their furry, enormous four-year-old. Then came Ruby, their first non-four-legged baby, who is now two and a half years old and loves playing with her dogs like she's one of them. Then came the family's next Bernese mountain dog, Biggie, because they loved the breed so much. Lastly, Sonny, their nine-month-old son, is still learning the ropes with the pups around the household. My wife was like, you're crazy. I can't have a baby and another dog at the same time, Craig recalled. But when Ruby was five months old, she, his wife, found Biggie, and he was eight months, and we adopted him from a breeder. The fun-filled family of six loves taking adorable adventures throughout Mill Valley, California, and beyond. We're often hiking. We have a lot of awesome trails and beaches, Craig said of their outings. She's an animal lover and she can go up on the trails and be with the dogs and everything. She's learned how to properly hold the leash so that if one of them tries to chase something, she can just let go. Ruby is definitely the dog whisperer, her proud dad added. She knows almost every dog in the dog park, and she'll be running around with them. It's really cute, and everybody knows Ruby. As for their newfound fame on Instagram with more than 15,000 followers, Craig said he and his wife simply try to capture all these little funny things. Nothing is scripted. And the stuff we don't capture is even crazier, he added. We're totally blessed to have this much love. Our dogs are so spoiled, it's insane. There are endless tales that you can never get bored with about babies and dogs. It's not random that dogs are considered great companions in a child's life. Therefore, all your children should experience the love of a pet to grow and have great friends in the family. Meet Mame, a one-year-old Japanese girl, and her friend, 
Riku, a giant poodle. They are the cutest besties you've ever seen. Their pure friendship conquers worlds as 138k dazzled Instagram followers represent the living proof of being defeated by the overload of cuteness. Mame's grandmother is the one who makes sure that these precious moments of her granddaughter stay documented. Riku is the name of the most adorable giant poodle you'll ever see and the lifelong companion for little sunshine Mame. Together with Gaku and Ku, the other two big poodles and perfectly matched sidekicks, they all enjoy sleeping, reading, and playing on the trampoline. These big poodles can weigh more than 60 pounds, 27 kilograms, and are also known as royal poodles. The love they grow towards each other is surely royal and would even melt away the hearts of white walkers. Riku tries to find something to read to Mame before sleep time. Mame is a one-year-old Japanese girl with a giant poodle for a BFF. Riku is the name of her companion, and they're rarely apart. I don't think the black poodle feels safe anymore. Feeding a dog, picking up after it, and all the other responsibilities that come with owning a family pet is a lot of work. However, as soon as they are old enough, kids usually want to be a part of caring for the animals in the family. Nearly every dog loves to go on a walk so they can chase after squirrels, meet new friends, and explore the world outside the home. This intelligent little child is ready to take her strong-looking bulldog for a walk. It can feel like quite an accomplishment for a child when they take their four-legged pal for their much-needed stroll outside. Hopefully, the dog won't end up taking her for a walk. Cats are not always known to be the cuddliest creatures, but some will make an exception for their favorite humans. This little girl and her cat show that pets are an integral part of family life. For a child, there is often nothing better than sharing a cuddly moment with their favorite four-legged friend. Pets bring uncomplicated innocence and affection that can stay with us for a lifetime. They can even improve our health. Studies have shown that having pets can help children avoid asthma as they grow older and reduce anxiety. This furry, gentle giant lets his little friend take a nap right on his back. No blanket needed when she has her four-legged protector right next to her. In fact, it's often the biggest dogs in the family who are the most affectionate and protective of the smallest family members. Big, small, or somewhere in between, there is no denying that dogs are simply the best. After all, babies are closer in size and at home more often, which can create a more natural bond. The family dog in this picture looks like he's hanging out in his favorite place on earth, just being with his little human. This baby and his cuddly pug look like they will be close for years to come. It always melts our hearts. Mimicry is a big part of the family pet and child relationship. The same curiosity and playfulness that follow children also follow animals. Maybe that's why they often get along so well and why there is so much affection between them. Having a pet not only teaches kids responsibility and how to care for another life, but pets also show them how to give and receive love unconditionally. In fact, the unconditional love a child experiences from their pets can create some of the most meaningful childhood memories that can carry into adulthood. There is no doubt that pets make a valuable impact on our lives. Big dogs can make the best family pets and are sometimes a perfect resting place for kids. When this toddler leaned back into her big, furry best friend, she knew he wouldn't mind supporting her. Dogs can sometimes be more patient with kids and willing to let them do things that they may not let other people do. This little girl knows that no matter what, she will always have someone to lean on. Happy friendships always come between dogs and babies. Being a new parent can be extremely tiring, but Nate Anderson, a new father, found his baby boy to be an endless source of creative inspiration. His webcomic series, Boy and Dog, chronicles the hilarious adventures of his son, Rowan, and their family dog, Murphy. Anderson told Bored Panda that the idea for the cute comics came after the birth of his son last year. My life was changed by this wiggly, squishy boy who filled my home with laughter and poop. 
The family pets didn't know what to think of him at first, but my golden retriever, Murphy, decided that he was pretty cool, he said. Rowan loves his animal friends and would squeal with delight whenever Murphy was around him. I started to draw the funny comics to show what I imagined in my head was transpiring between these unlikely best friends. His boy and dog cartoon drawings include conversations, hijinks, and even some crude jokes between the dog and baby. Everything is new for the boy, and I imagine that it was the dog's duty to teach him all about the world from a dog's point of view, explained Anderson. This is not the artist's first time trying his hand at a webcomic. Anderson's first series was called Quacky Boys and featured him and his college roommates having wacky adventures, but it eventually died off when they moved on. A college dropout after freshman year, he said he is largely self-taught. I was already working as a professional illustrator slash designer at the time, and I feel that I learned more working in the industry than I ever did in school with very uninspiring instructors. While his comics are quite eccentric, Anderson admitted he's not very good at talking to people and uses his talent to communicate. My comics give me the ability to tell funny stories and make people laugh with silly gags. I like making people happy. I like making people laugh. Unfortunately, I'm a little socially awkward, so this is a better platform for my jokes. Inspired by artist Glenn Keane, he said he loves traditional hand-drawn animation. I am a huge Disney nerd, and when I get into a slump, watching one of the movies he worked on gets me drawing again. Disney's Tarzan has been a huge influence on my desire to animate. As for his own work, he creates each comic entirely on Photoshop, from rough layout to sketching, line work, coloring, and dialogue. For Anderson, his overall goal with these cute drawings is to spread some laughter and joy to his viewers. I know I'm not the only one who deals with baby problems and dog problems, so if I can get people to relate to my goofy drawings and have a chuckle, then I will consider myself successful. New comic strips for boy and dog are released every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday on his website. Scroll down below to see some cute stories from this series and don't forget to upvote your favorites. Pets teach children to build lasting friendships through playing, taking turns and sharing, practicing socialization skills, showing affection, paying attention to others, and building self-confidence. Chills for dogs and babies. Friends, do you believe in miracles? If you don't believe it, then this story is for you, of course, most of you will have a hard time believing what I'm going to tell you today, and frankly, it's not surprising because this case is unexplainable by science, no humans, not even the most seasoned experts, can explain it. A 25-year-old American, Mary Kelly, lives in Minnesota, and like thousands of other American women, at the age of 24, the young woman becomes pregnant and her lovely husband is excitedly expecting them with the arrival of the baby, everything went as usual, nothing surprising happened here, and Mary was eight months pregnant at that time, and her life was as usual without any changes. In January 2014, Mary was driving home, she had just come back from the city, there was a terrible snowstorm that day, it fell all night until morning, snow covered everything. The ground was covered in 40 inches of snow, and Mary was in her SUV, a few miles from her home, when suddenly her car stopped and the young woman realized that she could no longer move forward. The service had to clear the road but since it's not a major highway and it's not a busy arterial, it's just a small road in the forest so they haven't gotten there yet. And the car got stuck in a snow bank and the woman made all attempts, but the results are hopeless, she can only watch the buggy get stuck on the track, helpless. Mary got out of the car, hoping that a rescue vehicle would come to pick her up soon. But the blizzard was getting bigger and no one showed up for half an hour. The young woman was desperate. She was starting to freeze. She understood that her car couldn't go on because it didn't have enough gas, but the worst part is that it is already dark, the snow is getting heavier, her heart is beating faster, she is afraid to stay here for too long, she is alone deep in the forest in the snowstorm, 
on the snow-covered road miles from home and the city, it will be difficult for her to stay here until tomorrow. The road to the city was a bit shorter so Mary decided to walk back and she made it through the snow and the blizzard. She managed to walk almost half a mile and then something happened here that this is unimaginable even in the worst nightmare. Suddenly, the young woman was in a panic. She felt that she was going to give birth, and she knew she couldn't go any further, and she saw a place under the nearest tree where there was less snow, and she had a hard time getting there, and all Mary said was, Oh God, why is this happening to me, please help me. Five minutes later she lost consciousness from the cold and pain, you guys think that might be the end of the story, we might think that a few days later people will find a frozen body here, but actually, what happened after that it cannot be explained by science. I don't know how much time had passed since I passed out, Marie recalls, but when I awoke I felt it was warm, my head on the back of a huge grey wolf. It was probably the leader of the pack, the other wolves, about nine of them, surrounded me and blocked the blizzard, I didn't even have time to be scared, it was more like a dream, they didn't show any aggression at all, circled me like a babysitter, and about 20 minutes later, out in the snow, I gave birth to my baby. A female wolf carefully arched the umbilical cord, then she and another wolf licked my baby, as if they knew and understood what to do, and the rest of the wolves snuggled up to me to keep me warm, the female wolf was nibbling on the umbilical cord and nudging my baby gently towards me. My baby was crying which meant he was alive so I started nursing him and during this time a wild predator was nearby with a dense wall protects me from the blizzard, and I'm like one of their pack, they're there. Until I need their help, the chief licking the snow and tears off my cheeks. By then Mary's husband had started looking for his wife, as she was long overdue, and he and his neighbors drove a heavy truck towards her along the road the young woman had walked. On the way, they found the abandoned car covered in snow, and they continued to search, and then they saw a pack of wolves, and they thought something terrible must have happened here, one of them picked up a gun and started shooting into the air, and the pack scattered. But they didn't go away from the young woman and her baby, they came closer and the husband found his wife with the newborn baby in her arms, it was unbelievable, the man said afterward, how could this be possible, I can't imagine something like this happening. The predator has stayed around and despite the presence of a pack, the wolves don't even bother to leave the place, they watch as people carry the woman and baby who have been in their care into the car and an hour later the young woman is safely delivered city hospital, a few days after this incident, Mary was interviewed by reporters, and they will surely not forget me, the woman said. I'm sure one day I'll find time to take my little bill to visit them, and will go to the place where those feral, bloodthirsty carnivores saved me and my baby from death, I am sure they will know me and my children. This is not an accidental situation, of course, these days, we are inseparable from them, rangers and hunters decline to comment on this incident, after all, they have never seen anything like it, other experts believe that wolves can smell the child, so their maternal instincts kicked in, and of course they discouraged the young woman from meeting her wild savior which they felt was dangerous. But Mary Cranach thinks she has nothing to worry about right now, and she's looking forward to seeing them. Friends, do you think this story has a scientific basis? Why didn't the wolves harm the girl and her child? Be sure to write your opinion in the comments. Wolves are one of the most mysterious animals out there, their lifestyles and habits often startle people, but more than that, they inspire fear. Our story today takes place in Siberia, Russia, and it is told online by a man who works as a paramedic at a city hospital located near a forest, which many consider to be a rather good location, as one can enjoy the clean air and beautiful scenery. But then a strange story happened, people were walking normally in the hospital grounds, when suddenly, someone started screaming and yelling, run, it's a wolf. Some did run, while others froze, which had never happened before, everyone knew there might be wolves in this forest, but no one saw them. Meanwhile, wolves just stand there watching people. Suddenly, the protagonist of our story, 
a paramedic urges people to calm down and take no action, saying that wolves come to them for a reason and they need to understand that reason first to understand what the animal needs, it is not afraid to come out of the forest, it just sits where he is most visible. Everyone froze in shock as the man walked slowly towards the wolf, after all, wolves are carnivores and the man could be attacked and torn to pieces at any moment, but the wolf sat still and paramedics approached the wolf and began examining him, the animal calmly asked him to do the examination, and then the man turned to the surprised people, and he told them that the wolf had come for help. Apparently some unskilled hunter tried to shoot the wolf with a shotgun and now he is wounded and in pain. The paramedic went to get his instruments, and then returned to the wolf, who cleaned its wounds, clipped its hair, and began removing the bullets. Clearly the wound was caused by a shotgun and the doctor had to do everything without anesthesia, but the wolf was a perfect ideal patient, didn't even whimper, and when the man was done, the wolf went back into the forest and no one looked to him. The brave ambulance later told them that he had grown up in a tiger village and that he had faced wolves more than once before, so he had learned to understand these animals, knowing that they were intelligent and noble, but even so, he is still amazed by the behavior of this wolf. How did he know the exact address of the hospital? Does he know this is where he can get help? And he took a huge risk to come to a place with so many people. After all, if it weren't for this ambulance worker, no one knows how this story would end. David Meck, a zoologist from the United States, believes that wolves are the most amazing animals in the world. It is wrong to think that wolves always attack people. In fact, these animals will pose a threat to humans only under special circumstances. Menace, David Meck has studied wolves for years, and they have surprised him many times. When a badly wounded wolf was attacked by his own pack, he was amazed, the wolf died, but he saw how related the wolves were to each other, but later, when they saw what they were doing up close, it was quite shocking, although I have seen wolves from the air chasing and attacking other wolves, scientists say. He was also amazed when a one-year-old wolf deliberately didn't kill the prey it had caught, instead bringing it to a puppy. Scientists have also proven that wolves are the direct ancestors of domestic dogs, so they should be considered friends of man. Animals never cease to amaze us.